Today I want to explain the reasons why induction heating really makes sense for, for coffee roasting. First of all, let's define what is induction heating. So it's when you take an electrical conductor and you subject it to an alternating magnetic field. So if you think back to your classes in physics in school, typically they would demonstrate a transformer and how that works. So a transformer is basically two coils. You have a primary side and a secondary side, and you by alternating the current, you create a magnetic field in one, which is then coupled to the other one. And depending on how many windings you have on each, you can then change the voltage to higher or lower. So induction heating is basically the primary coil where you apply an alternating current, and the secondary coil is your drum. And since it's not a coil, it's just one big piece of metal, so it's like a short circuit on the secondary side, which means you're generating a lot of heat. So it's very basic. Um, the good thing about induction heating is that if you have uh, an object in, made of metal that you want to heat up, and that object has to be uh, decoupled from the heat source, then induction heating is fantastic. And that's exactly what's, what's happening when, you are, when you're heating up a drum, because you have a heater underneath the, uh, the roaster, and you have the rotating drum on top. And you cannot just attach you know, a heating element directly to the, to the drum because of, of the wiring. So here, induction heating makes a lot of sense. In traditional coffee roasters, what you have is, uh, let's say, electri traditional electric drum roasters, to put it more accurately. What you have there is that you have a rotating drum, just like on the bullet, and then you would have heating elements underneath the drum or on the side. The problem is that these heating elements are not directly attached to the drum. So what happens is that to heat up the drum, first you have to superheat the air uh, around the heating element and between the drum. Uh, and this superheated air then heats up the drum slowly. But as you probably know, air is a great insulator. So there's a big lag from, let's say, when you want to crank up uh, the power on your roaster to when you actually see something happening in the, in the drum temperature. That's why a lot of people, they don't like traditional electric roasters because they're very slow uh, to react and they also use a lot, of, a lot of energy. Induction heating, on the other hand, is pretty fantastic when it comes to roasting because your drum acts as your heating element. Okay, so you're basically roasting inside your heating element. And when you, when you choose to apply more heat by changing the, the frequency of the coil, it's immediate in the drum. So that's, that's why we believe that uh, if you're not using gas, gas is also great because you, know, you change the flame and, and you get more power pretty quickly. But if you're not using gas uh, for a lot of reasons, induction heating is, um, is very good because it's very quick. And it, it's directly coupled to the to the drum, which means you're using a lot less electricity. 